Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my foundation routine. First, I'm going to start off by moisturizing my skin using the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. Next, I'm going to add Benefit Professional to the areas of my pores that are really noticeable. Then I'm going to take my foundation, which is the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth, on a damp beauty blender. My shade is 115. I start off by dabbing the foundation all over my cheek and my forehead. Even though I apply my foundation starting at the chin and working my way up, when I blend, I blend downwards. This will ensure that the hairs on your face are lying down. The key to picking out the right foundation is what does your skin need? I have very dry skin so I'm not going to use a matte foundation. It will dry me out and I will have dry patches everywhere. Also, if you have oily skin, don't be afraid to use moisturizer. If you don't use moisturizer, your skin will produce twice as much oil to try and hydrate your skin. This will cause you to look even more oily. Now I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows how I usually do while I wait for my foundation to dry. I have really dark purple under eyes and in this video they are worse than usual because I had a hard time sleeping that night. What I love about this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer is a little goes a long way. Next I am going to take my damp beauty blender and using the pointy end I am going to gently press the concealer into my skin. Since my concealer is pink based, I'm going to take the shade Vanilla from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette to set my under eyes. I do have to set my under eyes immediately after applying concealer because they will crease.
Next, I'm going to take the Maybelline Dream Illumi Touch in the shade Ivory and apply it to the high points of my cheeks, center of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, and on my chin. I have no idea why it got so dark all of a sudden, but I do blend the concealer up onto my eyelids, so I'm just blending out any creasing I may have. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment future video suggestions down below.